Good day, criminology students. Welcome to our lecture video discussions. Today, we will going to talk about the specific traffic problems that the traffic managers and traffic control officers mostly encounter. First, we have traffic buildup. It is characterized by the gradual increasing of traffic users in a given portion of a highway or traffic. Ibig sabihin, dito sa traffic buildup, unti-unting dumarami ang mga road users or traffic users sa isang particular na bahagi ng isang highway. Maraming mga sasakyan ang dumadaan. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na mayroong traffic congestion or traffic jam sa traffic buildup. Wala. Sa traffic buildup, dito yung mga sasakyan, tuloy-tuloy lang yung movement nila, yung flow ng traffic nila, tuloy-tuloy lang. Next, we have traffic congestions. These are conditions on road networks that occurs as use increases and is characterized by slower speeds, longer trip times, and increased vehicular queuing. Unlike sa traffic buildup, yung mga vehicles doon ay unti-unting dumarami. Pero pag tra sa traffic congestions, dito, sobra yung mga vehicles na dumaraan on a portion of a roadway at a particular time. So, ibig sabihin, sobra na yung mga sasakyan na dumaraan sa isang particular na highway dito. So, of course, it can result the flow of traffic na magkakaroon ng slower speeds longer trip times and increased vehicular queuing. Pero sa traffic congestions, dito yung mga sasakyan, stop and go traffic lang yung movement nila. Hindi yung stationary talaga or halos hindi na makagalaw. Then we have traffic jams. These are situations in highways in which the movement of traffic users, motor vehicles, pedestrians is very slow or stationary. Ito na yung pangyayari na kung saan na halos hindi na makagalaw ang mga sasakyan. It also caused the increasing the numbers of vehicles in a particular area. Or minsan, there is also a narrow roads. Masikip yung daanan kaya nagkakaroon ng traffic jam. Another one is bottleneck. These are narrow points or areas in highways where traffic congestions or traffic jams usually occur or traffic may be held up. The term bottleneck is refers to the typical shape of the bottle, to the fact na the neck is the narrowest point na kung saan most likely the place wherein there is a traffic congestion to occur or traffic jams. Then, there will be a slowing down the flow of vehicles doon sa narrow points na yon. Then we have gridlock. This is a state or conditions of severe road congestions arising when continuous squeeze of vehicles block an entire network. If the vehicles block the entire network, this usually causes the interlocking of intersection grids, kaya tinawag na gridlock. Dito nagkakaroon ng pagbara sa intersection na madalas na nagkakaroon ng sani ng interlocking ng mga intersection grids. Dahil tuloy-tuloy lang yung pagdatingan ng mga sasakyan, so hindi na makausad yung mga other vehicles sa intersections para makatawid sa isang intersections. So binara na ang bawat intersections kaya nagkaroon ng grid. Another one is accidents. These are events or incidents which may cause unintentional damage to property, loss of limbs, and or death. So, ito yung mga pangyayari na hindi inaasahan o hindi sinadya na walang dapat sisihin. Pero siyempre, hindi rin tayo makakatakas sa violation na maaaring ipataw sa atin ng isang traffic control officers. Last specific traffic problems encountered by the traffic control officers is the collisions. These are incidents or instances of one or moving traffic units or person striking violently against another is called collisions. When two things crash into each other or collide each other, 
ito ay matatawag na collisions. It's either a motor vehicle, pedestrians, animals, or sabi natin road debris, or any other stationary obstructions such as tree or building na kung saan nag-collide yung isang sasakyan. So matatawag natin yung collision.